part two because my video camera doesn't make a will not because Instagram on a phone it needs to require 10 minutes of footage and 15 minutes videos but you if you're on a computer and you download it it's a different story altogether so it's it's really insane in that sense because it's like why are we like why are we so afraid of Donald Trump why why and, and everybody talks about his Trump like they point out his negatives and without really looking at like the other side of that or like oh he's a terrible businessman I don't think he's a terrible businessman because if he was he we wouldn't met hear the name Donald Trump for how long he's been in the public eye for like any more he's done too I mean you know, he stood up for Michael Jackson. He stood up for a lot of things. Like, nobody wants to talk about the positives and, you know, but, oh, wait, he's a racist. And it's like, that is such a boogeyman, and that whole argument is dying out. That It's dying out because nobody, nobody's buying it anymore. Nobody's buying that argument anymore. It's like, oh, you're a racist. It's like, all right, even though, you know, I get stiff when Naomi Campbell is on screen. Oh, you know, it's, that was a joke, and now everybody's like, oh, that's dirty. I know, I know. It's just, it just gets annoying sometimes. It's like, you know, they want to use those, ba they want to call everybody z uh, uh, some homophobic, xenophobic, any phobic exist or whatever name they want to call them, because they want to de like, dehumanize you. And we've been demoralized in this country. Think about this, that America's bad and evil. It's like, no, it's not. America's a great country. And yes, this is a country that we kept, like, George Collins is right. This is, the, this is the country that we kept fighting in all the time. We fight. Our, there's, we're a warring country. We would fight wars on everything. We would fight wars on slavery, you know, segregation. We fight for the civil rights. We fight for the women's rights. We keep fighting in this country because we're trying to make it perfect. And I'm sorry if it's not perfect right now, but it is a country that is built on trying to be perfect and trying to improve itself. That's always, always that's what America to me has always been about. It's always been a, a constant battle struggle. And by the way, I'm going to mention something too. You talk about, you know, this whole argument. And again, I mentioned it in the other video, but, you know, the Native Americans thing. We actually dig the Native American like culture like this is a culture like you know yeah we have christianity we have judaism but also like grounded we also have native like we also have the spiritualism of native americanism and it, i like that i actually like the fact that we still praise it like if we really didn't give a shit if we were that evil we would just wipe them out completely like wipe and like get rid of the history of them demonize them to a certain point i'm playing bioshock infinite and there's a point in it where you go to the museum where they kind of like which, by the way, that if you want to talk about how bad America could be, a really bad, imagine put. This is why we have a church, separation of church and state. Imagine if we made the forefathers as religious figures, and to me, we don't because we made them, you know, historical figures of this country rather than political. So imagine that for a second. All right. You know, it's. This imaginary boogeyman that we have running around this country, but honestly, it just it does bother me a little bit. You know what I mean? It's like the self hatred of our country, and it's like, yeah, we have some great people. Like, and I, here's the thing: I'm gonna be honest. And Morgan Freeman has said this, and Daryl Davis has said this too. We need like Black History Month needs needs to go away. It needs not just to be a month. It needs to be American history. Because, like, every time they do Black History Month, it's, you know, the, the standard people. Like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, George Washington Carver, Harriet Tubman. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Um, Louis Armstrong. I don't know. I, see what I mean? They don't dress the other people in, black, in American history with black people in there. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of people who made history in America, but yet we kind of separate that. And I'm not denying it. I mean, there is the separation of that. It's like, oh, we'll, we'll get Black History Month, and it's the shortest month too. So, yeah. And I do believe that there's some in evil individuals who have weeded themselves into our politics. You know what I mean? It, it's. 
I'm not denying it. There is this kind of separation of that. So it's like, don't lie to me. Like, again, I'm not going to change my ideology just because somebody's going to call me and not. Like, you know, that's another thing, too. It's, it's people need to wake up to. It's like, look at Antifa. Why do you think the, like New Jersey labeled them as a terrorist organization? Which also that whole wall of flowers things with all the Karens wearing the ye white, you know, yellow, and oh, they got tear gas. Well, you know what terrorists do? They hide behind women and children, and they taunt you to, ki to attack them, to go through the women and children. That's what a terrorist does. You know, a terrorist fucking goes after, pe like, will hit you and then hide behind women and children. And that's what they're doing right now. Because all these college kids, these young adults who, you know, who are wearing black thinking they're fighting the Nazis, like it's Call of Duty, World at War, you know, they think they're fighting the Nazis. And they're not. They're not fighting real Nazis. They're, they even themselves have become the Nazis. And that's the ironic shit. Because... For one, their slogan, their, their slogan and flag, their logo is black, red, and white. Kind of in the same vein as the Nazi logo. Black, red, and white. You know, they were all black and covered their faces up. Real heroes don't cover their faces up. They really want to... Like, and also, every time they get their photo... Like, someone takes a picture of their photo or they're filming them, they freak out and go after that guy. Why? Why... Only villains do that shit. Only villains like to hide themselves. If you have nothing to hide, you're not ashamed of it. Like, why are you hiding? Are you trying to get a job? And look, I understand that people post up weird ass shit and do funny shit that, you know, to an extent, doing Hitler jokes and stuff like that. But, you know, it's... To me, it's just... We're, we're slowly, you know, letting the fear get to us. And even with COVID, you know... You know, all these boomers... Like, by the way, I think boomers are the most selfish generation ever. And I know... Pam, I know you're right. I, I've talked about boomers a lot about this. But I feel like some of them can be selfish. Some of them can be selfish. And I don't mean all of them can be selfish. And I mean... I, I take that back because it's like... Again, I'm doing what they're doing. And labeling, like, an entire generation on a few who are just... You know... Who kind of see the truth. I mean... Look... All right, I get it, I get it. I think the whole boomer thing, like, hating on boomers is kind of an old thing, but honestly, it gets annoying after a while because, you know, they're, uh, well, me, and, like, if you listen to a boomer talk, it's, like, it's always, like, me, I, me, me, I. It's always referring to myself, you know, the, to the self. And it's, like, look, eventually we're all going to die, either, either from COVID-19 or a heart attack or the car hits you or you blow up or you just... Just, just your body just gives the fuck out. That's it. That's it. And, and trying to control all that, it's insane. And trying to tell people that they need a, because weren't they like, all right, fourteen days, and if we if we do what we just gotta do, fourteen days, we'll be fine. Well, fourteen days, like fourteen days became three months. It's like, and don't give me the shit that we need a vaccine. I, I'm sorry, but they're pushing this vaccine shit so much that it's kind of scaring me in a sense. It's like, first of all, like, why are they pushing the vaccine so much? Why are they pushing this so much onto us? It's like, I don't trust it. I really don't trust the vaccine whatsoever. Because, I'm gonna be honest, it's like, what's in it? Like, why does, you know, you know, oh, it's good for your safety and stuff like that. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of doctors have talked about how vaccines can hurt people, too. Like, our over-vaccination can hurt people. And people don't want to address that. Nobody wants to address that. And if you do speak about against it, you're a conspiracy theorist and an anti-vaxxer and stupid and anti-science. Even though there's people out there who claim there's more than one, that gender is a full spectrum. It's two genders, I'm sorry. The B in LBGQT is basically bi, so that means there's two. I know, pedophilia is not a sexuality. It is a fucking disease. And, and here's another thing, too. I don't promote people going out there and murdering pedophilia, pedophiles. They should be arrested and, you know, put in jail. You know. And again, vigilanteism is not going to help that. Because then again, you end up being, like, you know, you're, you're, co you're hunt for a pedophile. Most of those guys are going to get away, and then you're going to end up in jail. It's, 
it's insane. It's insane. It's people need to realize that. Like, you know, I've been getting to an arguments with a lot of people, and it's like, look, I do believe there's a black and white out there. The only problem is we've been living in the gray so much that everybody kind of ignores it. And it's like, oh, life's not black and white. Well, you know, we we have black and white to kind of moral like, that's the moral area. That is the moral area. The gray area is like, the gray area is the moral area. You know what I mean? Like, the immoral area. Like, there's certain, like, if you live in the black and white, you're not going to be a full developed human. The reason why we go into the gray is to just kind of, like, get a different perspective on that. Like, all right, you know, say you're somebody who doesn't like guns, but you fire off your first gun and you realize this is a lot different from the movies. You know, there's a recoil. Like, they kind of didn't aim right at the target. You know, th this is kind of hard to shoot a gun. It's very powerful. It's not like the movies where they go boo 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 boo. They there's recoil there, and it affects your entire body. You know. Um, but you know that's the whole thing about that. And or but yet when a Republican finally smokes marijuana and he's like, wow, this is I don't feel like doing you know taking harder drugs after this. And why is everybody so afraid about this? And it's like you realize that. You, wait, you, you realize that, that the gray area helps you understand things better. You know what I mean? Same thing with, like, you know, people saying D&D &D was witchcraft. The truth is they have characters that are paladins. And I think clerics, which is a, a religious... They, those people are the holy guys. And yes, there's, source, there's dark magic in there, but there's also light magic. There's people who are clerics who are holy warriors. So it's like... You know, and that's another thing. The Santan, like, people need to remember that the San there was the Santanic Panic, and it's been going on for a while. They did the same thing with gamers, and trust me, as a gamer, I know about this shit. Grand Theft Auto was a murder simulation. Rockstar made a murder simulation called Manhunt, and it was an okay game. Not the greatest, but it's okay. And even then, that wasn't a great, mur like, murder simulation. It's like... First of all, if a man walks down the street with an AK-47, do you not think the police will stop him? Like, it, it's... Or a rocket launcher. And which, by the way, no, automatic... You can't get automatic weapons in this country. The AR-15 is not a fucking assault weapon, by the way. The military would never use anything like that. It's not a military weapon. An assault rifle... Well, an assault rifle is an automatic weapon, all right? And automatic weapons are illegal. And by the way, the bump stock, which honestly all these NRA motherfuckers who have been trying to defend that thing, is a toy. Which, by the way, I'm sorry, but it's 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 a it's a shitty substitute for the full automatic for the full for the real thing of a full automatic. Same thing with the uh, the AK with the. Uh, same thing with the AR. It's like or like magazine capacities or anything of that matter. It's like, it, 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 it's absolutely insane when you hear shit about that. And it's like, that's not going to stop a mass shooter. That's not going to stop somebody from killing a bunch of people. Or what about with a knife? You know, Japan actually has the same problem over there. It's not about mass shooting over there that's the problem. It's mass killings from knives and other fucking melee weapons. And then you've got, you know, I don't know. I'm just gonna, like, it's just so insane nowadays. It really is. It's the, the insanity of the left is just, it, it has to stop. It just, and even the right has to stop because I don't want the religious right back. And I don't want the, I, I'd rather have none of those sides ever again. I don't want the regressive left and I don't want the religious right anymore. I think we need to just stay in the middle, all right? We need, Americans need to be coming back to the center again. We need, we need to find the balance again. So all I gotta say is that legalize marijuana, which honestly, despite how I feel about Tom Wolf, he's actually trying to legalize it. Um, I want my automatic weapons. I feel like you should have a license and proper training to deal with them. Uh, I think gun control is absolutely stupid. Um, and it is an infringement on our rights. And every gun law is an infringement on our rights. Um, I believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and I am a classic liberal when it comes to that mindset. So, yes, Republican with a classic liberal sense. So, take care, everybody. Love you. Bye-bye. And remember to stay beautiful, okay, and relax.